Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here and you're watching this video on the internet. That's how this video is being delivered to you. We could say that's the delivery method. So let's start talking about delivery methods in Populi. This video is going to be most useful to users with either the academic admin or registrar roles. When we get into academics settings, only academic admins can access and make changes there. I'm going to be viewing things primarily with the academic admin role. Delivery methods are an attribute of courses that work with student type, which is an attribute of students in Populi. Let's talk about what this allows you to do, and then we'll get into how you can do it. This means you can go to a course instance, settings, and set a delivery method there, and you can go to a student's profile student tab, and then to the student information sill and set a student type there. So student types and delivery methods work together. This allows you to do a couple things. First, you can have course instances set to allow multiple delivery methods. Most importantly, this means that on-campus students and online students can participate in the same course instance. Folks call these hybrid courses, and it means that if you have discussions or peer review assignments or anything that involves on-campus and online students interacting with each other in Populi, that's possible. Second, this also means that you can simplify the registration tab for many students. Let's look at how the registration tab looks for this student who's set up to take either on-campus or online courses you can see that they have options here. And in this column over here, we can see that they are set to either online or on campus. You can sort by delivery method there. But if you are an online only student type, when you go to register for courses, you will only see courses set to online delivery methods. So students don't have to pick through the courses to find the ones that they can take. Now the registration tab just doesn't show those on-campus courses here. And even if we choose that on-campus delivery method, nothing shows. Obviously the same is true for any students set to an on-campus only student type. They would only see on-campus courses in which they can enroll. But you should also be aware that student type goes further than simply delivery method. If we look at student type on a student profile, on the student tab, in the student information sill, we can edit a student to only enroll in courses, only audit courses, to not be able to audit or enroll, or to do both. To get an idea of how students see the registration tab without being restricted, we'll use a student who's set to either audit or enroll in courses. So looking at that student's profile, they have a drop down here that lets them choose whether they're auditing or enrolling in courses. If they select audit, they can join courses as an auditor. They select enroll and they can fully enroll in the courses. So the most obvious benefit to restricting students is that you can set students up as auditors. They can only audit courses. That means when they go to their registration tab, they don't have to fiddle with anything here to show them courses they can audit. If a course is set to accept audit students, they'll see it here and they can register to audit. And this goes for enroll only students as well. If for some reason you don't want them to be able to audit courses, they'll hit their registration tab and only have the option to enroll. Again, the benefits here are conducting hybrid courses. So online and on-campus students can interact on the course and then simplifying the registration tab for some students. Let's look at how delivery methods and student types are set, starting out all the way at the beginning. Under academics, settings, course delivery methods, you'll be able to click over here to add a delivery method. When you do that, you've got the option to indicate that this is an online or distance delivery method. First of all, this distinction controls how the course records student attendance. Obviously, on-campus students are marked as 
present, absent, tardy, et cetera. But online courses record attendance based on student participation. When a student submits an assignment, starts or posts in a discussion or takes a test, Populi will create a participation record for that student on that date. And you can also record lesson activity as participation by enabling the count lesson activity as participation setting in academics, settings, general. Second, this setting makes that divide between online and on campus that'll end up connecting to student type. So you can create all different delivery methods and they'll show up on the courses as labels, but it's this yes, no setting on the delivery method that controls what shows up for students on their registration tab. So for an online only student type, any course that has a delivery method set to yes here will show up on the registration tab. Delivery methods also get set on course catalog entries. If we go to a course catalog entry, we can see the delivery method field right here. This is a templating kind of setting. So if you set a delivery method here, that's what will be set by default when you create new instances of a course from this entry. But you'll still be able to change the delivery methods on those course instances without messing with anything on the catalog entry. Speaking of which, you can set or edit this on a course instance by going to the instance, clicking settings, and then clicking on delivery method. Again, at the instance level here, this is the setting that matters. When you adjust something here, that's what controls the actual delivery method regardless of what's set up on the course catalog level. And then student types are set on a student's profile, on their student tab, on the student information cell. So if I don't want this student to be able to enroll or audit any campus courses, I set campus to none. So now the student is only online for both enrolling and auditing. Then let's say that I want this online student to be only an audit student. I set online to audit only. And then there are all the many different flavors and variations that you can set up on students available there. If you're not familiar with the basics of managing or setting up enrollment, we've got some videos about that linked below. We also have a couple articles from our knowledge base about delivery methods that you can check out. And then we have a playlist of videos for academic admins and registrars. So check all that stuff out. Do you wanna dig deeper and get more value out of Populi for your school? Join our Discord server. It's where Populi users can ask each other questions and capitalize on community knowledge. You wanna become a part of that community? Go to Help in Populi and choose Join the User Community. That'll take you to a spot that has instructions about how you can get set up. I'm Josh for Populi. Thanks for watching.